Hey guys, so... <laughs> <laughs> Today I'm going to do a haul with my sister, Summer. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing that I got is the Rimmel Extra Wow Lash Mascara. Wow. And this wow. is the packaging. I've used it a few times. I'm not sure how much I like it, so um, I'll probably do a review on this. Um, but then I went to Walmart, and I'm going to Tennessee on Thursday, and so I want to use a mascara that I know I really like instead of taking one that I'm still trying out. So I got the Maybelline Full and Soft. Um, because I really like it. So it's kind of lame to buy two mascaras so close to each other, but I'm still going to keep trying that out and see if I like it better, but I thought it would be good and handy if I'm going to travel to have something that I know I like. Does that make any sense? Yeah, it makes sense. Okay. <laughs> okay, I got a mascara too, but I only got one because I don't have a job, so I only got a couple things. <laughs> I got this. It's the One by One Volume Express by Maybelline. It's really pretty packaging. It's like a looks more pink in the camera, but it's really corally kind of. Not really corally actually. It's just really pretty colors. <laughs> it's like straight up pink. <laughs> I got another one of the e.l.f. blush brushes. I love these for um, powder. I don't actually use it for blush because it has a really cool point to it. I would think this is way too small for blush, but the point of it is really good for like the creases of your nose to um, set makeup in there because I feel like that's where you get all oily. <laughs> <laughs> so I really like this and I like that elf brushes come with a brush guard I think for such an unex <laughs> gosh I also got another one of the powder or whoa complexion whoa whoa <laughs> <laughs> complexion brushes I like the complexion brushes also I actually would rather use this for blush I don't really wear blush but I think it's a good size because I'm not really one to have like a really defined blush area. It's the e.l.f. eyelid primer. I really like this. This is my favorite primer. I mean, I haven't tried very many pri- what did you just do? <laughs> this is a dollar, so, and I really like it, and I like how long it makes my makeup last, or my eye makeup last, and I like- I like how long it makes my makeup last, or my eye makeup last, and I like- um, <laughs> she needs to get out. She was like, <laughs> Elf is their concealer brush. I used to have one of these and I used it for my brows, but I lost that one. So I don't know if I'm going to use this for my brows, but I might actually use it for concealer. But what are you <laughs> laughing at? The next thing I got from Elf is the Wet Gloss Lash and Brow Clear Mascara. I use this for my eyebrows. I don't use it for my eyelashes but I just use both sides for my eyebrows and it sets them so well. The Dream Matte Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> the Dream I even know how to um, pronounce that word. Okay you know what it looks like mouse. I'm Maybelline in a light <laughs> nude because I'm a light nude. <laughs> I have it on my face right now. Looks good. Next thing that I got is the Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder. I've heard good things about this, so I thought I would try it out. Um, I got it in kind of a lighter color. I got it in buff beige, so obviously it's... A, oh, it looks like white on camera. It's not that light. I like to get my powders a bit lighter because I use them on my T-zone, and it kind of does like a subtle highlighting thing, so it's good. Number seven, Color Calming Primer. Um, I'm really excited to try this out because I w I've been wanting a green like concealer or primer um, type thing for a while and if this works out I'll be stoked because it's a drugstore and it's relatively inexpensive compared to most color correcting primers so hopefully this works out well for me. This cocoa butter hand and body lotion it soothes and softens hands, face, and bodies so it's, it's really nice. It smells really good. It smells like coconuts and I really like coconuts. And it's yeah. really soft. We, we both got it, and I tricked. I not tricked. I convinced I her. <laughs> I convinced her to get it because it's only nine of ninety-seven cents, and yeah, it was really it was, it was ninety-seven cents. And I'm really glad that you convinced me to buy it because I tried it in the car, and um, my skin it smelled so good. It smelled like cocoa butter. Yeah, and it's just it smells like you've been at the beach or like you've been around surf wax or something. So, um, I also got the Wet n Wild. Um, overall cover stick in the color medium. I like this cover stick, but I don't use concealer very often, so when I do, I like to just have something like really easy and inexpensive because it's not um, an everyday staple for me. So, yeah, I got this. Black, black eyeliner. Brow and eyeliner. Yeah. 
It's like this. I like you're gonna use black in your brows. <laughs> I really like Wet n Wild. I don't know why. There's something about it that's just. It's so soft. It's so nice. Especially their eyeliners. Like they go on so lovely and luscious. And I haven't gotten the black yet, so I haven't tried that out yet. But I've gotten the purples, blues, all that fun stuff. Next thing I got is one of my favorite, like all-time favorite products. I probably will do a full review, like in depth about this. It's the Cetaphil um, Moisturizing Cream, and it's just an incredibly thick cream. It's like $10, which seems like a lot for a cream, at least for me, but it's 16 ounces, and this lasts me like a whole year, and I use it on my face. <coughs> it's great, um, like night cream type intense moisture. And um, it's also really good just on your body. Like after you shave your legs, it makes them really soft and stuff. So I like That's this. We both really like this. Really like it. uh, it's really disgusting, actually. The popped pimple relief gel pen. <laughs> so like after a zit is like all cleaned out and stuff, you put this on it and it helps it not as red. Is the Aussie Hair Insurance Leave-In Conditioner. I really like this. This is my second one, and um, it's like three dollars. It smells amazing. I kind of, I like it after the shower to, if I'm going to brush my hair, which I don't always do, it helps me um, kind of comb through it. But I also like it just to refresh my hair. Even though it's a leave-in conditioner, it's a very light leave-in conditioner, so it doesn't make my hair oily, but it smells amazing, so sometimes I'll just spritz it in my hair. And that's awesome. Jazzy, stop making fun of everything I do. Jesse's head's cut off. Jazzy is like that character in the Proud Family. You always wanted to see his head, but you never got to. Remember that guy? So, thank you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!